a project that's going to begin lensing in Los Angeles in January of 21 um, assembles two people that have worked together on Zero Dark 30. So it's a Zero Dark 30 re reunion. And it's a project that's caught my attention for a couple of reasons, namely the cast, but also the filmmaker. Um, so Losing Clementine is now um, has Edgar Ramirez um, boarding along with Jessica Chastain. I think there's a couple of things that we could say about this project. So um, what does this project say to you? Um, foremost, I'm just glad to see Jessica Chastain kind of moving back to independent cinema. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the big, you know, it's been, there was a while, there, she had a street there where she was just working with, you know, bang, one o o tour after another uh, on really interesting films. And then the past few years has, has just been like, you know, the IT horror movie, X-Men, she has that upcoming spy thing called 355. You know, as you met, as we talked about earlier, the the um, Ava, which went straight to VOD and was a really troubled production. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's I would say her last like auteur movie was maybe Molly's Game in in 2017, or you'd probably have to go further than that to really get into the sort of films that, that put her on the map. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually glad to see she's she's coming back um, and doing something smaller scale. And I think the filmmaker attached to this is interesting. I mean, I think you probably know more about this filmmaker than I do. So what do you know about, um, about uh, I'm going to get the name wrong, uh, Lucia Puenzo. Lucia hey. Puenzo, this is a catalog from Cannes back in 2007, uh, 2007, actually, for XXY. Um, and so she worked on what I want to want to say is micro cinema, at least at the onset. Um, she is the daughter of a filmmaker, actually won the um, best foreign picture Oscar, I believe in the 80s. So uh, there's a lineage there in, the, in this family. Um, so this actually started her career. She started off at the Critics Week and um, she would then go to the Berlin Film Festival in 2009 with The Fish Child. And after that, sort of like, she adhered to um, productions in her native tongue, um, perhaps Argentinian productions or Spanish co-productions, I'm not really certain, but she went more to television. She did one um, English language film, but here is, a, it's a clear, um, it's, it's a new start for the filmmaker. and. Uh, Losing Clementine is a, I don't want to say it's a small budget, it's around the eight to 10 million scope. Um, but um, essentially, a project like this, and we'll go into the log line, Jessica Chastain uh, portrays a bipolar uh, protagonist who decides that she's going to commit suicide on her 36th birthday. And so what she does is, uh, it tends to close all the dossiers. And uh, Edgar Ramirez, his character is that of the former husband. It's based on a 2012 novel. And um, the scribe for this actually wrote uh, Better Call Saul. So we're going to have something that's contemporary and something that uh, might be smaller in scope. Yeah, and I think by the sound of it, it's going to be a real showcase for Chastain. It sounds like the kind of movie where she will be on, you know, it'll, the focus, it, it's going to be a small, I think it's going to be maybe a two-hander or, or a very small amount of characters, perhaps. Um, it sounds like something that, unlike, again, like some of the franchises she's done recently, where she's just part of a larger team of people, I think this is, again, a return to something that's more intimate and will allow her to really, you know, She's a great actress and, and really sort of return to those roots and, and do something uh, challenging, I think. Yeah, essentially uh, it's, it's, uh, it's gonna be a character that uncovers secrets and, um, and um, changes course. Uh, I haven't read the book, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if I do end up adding this to my read list before the feature gets released. So 
Um, there's no distribution attached to this um, production yet. So most likely it's gonna be an acquisitions friendly item, perhaps ready for TIFF. Um, so yeah, look for that on the 2021 calendar. In focus features news, um, a filmmaker who's relatively new named Natalie uh, Bianchiri um, made a sophomore feature um, this past um, August with a pretty cool ensemble, um, a project that sees George McKay in the driver's seat um, and um, Lily Rose Depp as a supporting character or co-lead. Um, and what's fun is seeing how the progression of a filmmaker in relatively short time span. So I'm Eric Lavallee. I'm editor in chief and site owner for ioncinema.com. And this is Kevin Jaggernaut, contributing writer for the playlist. And together we are Indie Sponge. 